Coverage you can count on continues. This is News Channel 15's First News Weekend. Ten candidates are trying to become Indiana's representative for the third district. And to help you get to know the people behind the campaign, we are doing a series of interviews all month long called Meet the Candidates. So this morning, Republican Kevin Howell joins us. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Tell us about yourself. Well, born and raised in Fort Wayne, um, educated in Fort Wayne, went off to Howard University in Washington, D.C. to get my bachelor's degree, uh, served 10 years in the United States Marines, uh, came back to town, worked for some various mayors, uh, Mayor Paul Helmke, uh, Wynn Moses, and, um, and served on as a county councilman. And I've been busy teaching school, yeah. Why is it that you want to become the representative for Indiana's 3rd District? Well, in this particular time that we have in our, in our history of turn to a not too somber note but a serious note um, we have uh, challenges from outside the United States uh, we have ISIS what have you and I've realized that in my military career in 10 years and living outside the United States and dealing with them uh, back in the 1980s um, a lot of Americans never heard of them at that time but they were just as serious then about their worldview in terms of uh, the great Satanists that consider the United States then as they are obviously right now. We've heard about them chopping off heads, what have right. you, and this is happening overseas. And uh, back then in the 1980s, I'm talking about 1987 to be specific, I was in Okinawa, Japan, and I was on leave during that time, heading back to the United States, and we were told uh, in the middle of the Philippines that not to go to the southern part of the Philippines, which is Mindanao, which is Islamic, and say in the northern part, which is Christian, in Manila, and because of something called Sharia law. Well, um, didn't do that, of course, because um, it was or had orders not to, but they said if you even got caught there, it would become an international incident. Well, when I left the Philippines in 1987 and came back to America, I left all that back there. Well, now back what was there now is over here. So the bottom line is, and I'm, hope, I'm trying not to be too hard on this, but I'm just being blunt, mm -hmm. is that if you have folks who are dedicated to accomplishing their goal, as far as they see it, as to killing Americans in America. It's already happened overseas, and I feel very strongly about that, so much so that I decided to run for Congress and make that a major issue because this is real. Uh, it's generational in the sense that our parents or maybe grandparents served in World War II and they had to fight to win in Japan and in Germany, uh, to a lesser extent Korea and in Vietnam. Now this is our turn. We're the generation that has to do what we have to do. Yeah, you're clearly passionate about that, too. I've lived it. I've seen it, yes. Yeah. If you had to describe yourself in one word, what would you say? Kevin Howell, what? Focus. Focus. And you would, you think, take that focus to Washington, of course. Absolutely. No question about this. Yeah. If you don't feel comfortable in your own country, if you think that your life is threatened in your own country, in your own state, mm -hmm. everything else is secondary. It really, truly is. And that's the thing that I see happen in other countries. I was in Japan, I was over in Norway, places like that during the Soviet, during the Cold War, Soviet Union, Reagan, Gorbachev, all that in the 80s. And I've seen the effect that it has on the entire population of people, adults as well as kids. I don't want that to happen in this country, in our country, no. All right, Kevin Howell, thank you. Good luck to you as the race continues for Indiana's 3rd District. We appreciate you being here this morning. Great. Kevin's opponents in the primary are... Jim Banks, Liz Brown, Mark Berenger, Dr. Pam Galloway, and Kip Tom. All of them will be joining us this month before Election Day. Now, they are trying to fill Marlon Stutzman's seat. That it will be empty because he is running for U.S. Senate. In fact, Congressman Stutzman will join us tomorrow on First News. And Todd Young, his opponent, joined us earlier this month. You can find all of those interviews on Wayne.com.